Hello everybody, this is Rory from Dr. Toxicated Films and Wisley Ed Films. Um, and today, most of you have requested that you wanted to see a tutorial of how I recorded my iPad mini screen. Uh, so, here it begins. So, to record my iPad mini screen, the first step we need to uh, take, I'm just going to put that down there, is we need to type in on Google, Reflector App. Um, so we click the first link which says reflector app okay and the first thing we want it now um, I would recommend purchasing it okay uh, but of course you can do a free trial which allows you to try it out and you know, uh, you know just yeah obviously try it out and see if you like it I have to admit it is pretty cool and it works my well way away as well okay so once we've seen what's in reflector that is just this app and of course you can just drag it over to your applications folder uh, so that's what we want to do, we want to drag it into the applications folder and there we have it so once you've downloaded, uh, sorry, once you've uh, put it into your applications folder it will be there um, so um, whichever way you want to do it, you can use finder but I like to use spotlight uh, in the top right corner we just go and type in uh, reflector and it comes up like that. You just click open. Hopefully, Hoover isn't annoying you too much. Um, and obviously, if you don't have a registration certificate, as they like to call it, um, you can always try Reflector. Now, um, it says you are running in uh, trial mode. Reflector will automatically close after 10 minutes when running in this mode. So you don't get very long, but it is a great way to try it out. Now, once you've opened Reflector, you don't have to do anything else in regards to that. Uh, so the next steps we will do will be on the iPad. So on the iPad, here's what you need to do. Okay, so you get your iPad or iPad mini, um, and you double press the home button to bring up applications you've used recently. And then you swipe across with your finger right okay so you swipe right with your finger and you'll see some playing controls and stuff and as long as reflector app is open you'll see um, there's a little icon here which you can see um, and you just press that once and you can see your computer come up and you just select your computer and then you just turn mirroring on and then it'll come up on your screen Okay, so once we've uh, taken those steps, I'm just going to press that button, click um, uh, my computer, and turn mirroring on. As soon as I've turned mirroring on, it'll come up like this. Now, I can move the window around, and this is designed to fit the shape of my iPad mini. Now, this is what I'm doing on my iPad. So, of course, uh, you can see in the top, over here, um, that means that it's currently mirroring mirroring is on and yeah so as long as you did that 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 we can always turn mirroring on and off uh so let's test it out um of course i can use uh we can also play we can play fifa can't we we can play we can play some fifa 13 Okay, so this is basically what I mean. Let's have a look at this. Cool. What about this? Yeah, that looks pretty amazing. And when I go back it when I go back home, it will have the coat round it as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've got Need for Speed and stuff, but uh, you know I'm gonna let you guys try it out, and also I'll post some more tests if you guys want. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, and it works from my living room, which is all the way downstairs. And I was playing Asphalt Seven, which is this one right here. 
Um, that's what I was playing, and it's amazing. The connection is just amazing. Uh, so, yeah, you guys, you know, I'm just going to let you try it out, and thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you will subscribe, because this took a while, and thank you guys. See you.